Okay, so on this video that I did, how to build a climate battery, Eric asks, uh, I have built a geothermal system as well. Now that I want to control the fans, do you have a recommendation for a controller that will turn the fans on at a high set point, 21 degrees Celsius, and then off at 20 degrees Celsius, and then on back again at five degrees Celsius? So basically, I think the question is trying to get to, is there a controller that I can recommend to manage the fan when it turns on and off. And so I have not specified a controller yet. I have a couple in mind. I think the controller that I'm looking at right now is called an Inkbird. It's got some ability to program, but uh, I need to look a little bit closer into it. That's one of my projects for the winter is to figure out exactly how I'm gonna control the fan. And the philosophy that we're going to use as of right now, but it's subject to change, is going to be that the fan will turn on when the temperature in the greenhouse gets above 21 degrees Celsius. And so it'll stay on. So when there's enough heat in the greenhouse or surplus heat, it'll be stored into the greenhouse itself. And then it'll turn off between 21 degrees Celsius and 12 degrees Celsius. So there'll be no fan action. And then when it, the temperature goes below 12 degrees Celsius, the fan will turn back on again. And so basically below 12, the fan is extracting energy from the earth to heat the greenhouse. Above 21, the fan is extracting heat from the greenhouse to store it in the soil. So as we spec those controllers out, you'll be kept abreast of it. We're also going to be building a new module in our Passive Solar Greenhouse design course. And I'll leave a link to that in the show notes below if you're interested in learning how to build one of these beauties back here. Uh, the design tool that we have in that course actually is perfect for designing both the number of pipes, the size of the manifolds, and the size of the fan. But as I go through, there's a whole new suite of controls that are available that weren't available when that course got built. So we'll be updating that uh, in the program as well. Another thing to keep track of, um, in the coming weeks, we're going to be releasing a white paper. We've done a lot of research internally at Verge here on how to build these systems. We've done a lot of thermodynamic modeling and we've learned an enormous amount about these geothermal heat systems. So stay tuned because the white paper will be released on our website for free. If you want to be notified when that white paper comes out, you can sign up for our newsletter and I'll also leave a link to that in the show notes down below. Thanks so, so much for the question. I look forward to getting more from you. Mm -hmm.